so hello everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, all the new subscribers there. You guys just about tripled my subscriber count and that was very surprising and kind of intimidating and to be honest I'm a little freaked out inside. <laughs> but there were a lot of comments uh, in the in the last video about amazing. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. I'm just going to call him amazing because that's what I want him to be. Um, <laughs> But there were a lot of really neutral to positive comments about that stuff, and I appreciate everyone being very, very civil. A few people kind of either saw the just the title or uh, heard some, maybe a couple of words that triggered them and made them think whatever and kind of left a little bit of a nasty comment there. But that's not a big deal. You know, people are going to be that way, and you can't just let that stuff, you know, get to you. Uh, I apologize if you can hear all the rain in the background. I'm going to try to do the noise reducer on this one, but it's storming and I want to get this video done. But anyway, someone commented, asked me, because I briefly mentioned about my anger issues and how I resolve them and or how maybe Amazing could l resolve his issues and how I did it kind of, you know. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think any suggestion I have would really help uh, Amazing out because... He already does what I do to manage my stress. What I do to manage my stress and my anger is simply I exercise regularly. I do martial arts. I do on occasion weight training. I do on occasion cardio. I, I like to uh, practice flexibility, just have easy days where I'm just stretching and breathing. You know, So it's just an all-around physical health thing. And I don't know if you've seen his profile picture, but he's like, I think he won a bodybuilding competition. So what I do to manage my anger isn't something that he can really do because he already does it. If I had any real suggestion to manage some of the hostility that people are harboring, I would simply suggest maybe just unplugging from the mainstream because, in my opinion, mainstream media is always so biased and so so divisive that you're pretty much just asking for some sort of um, – uh, what, what, what do you call it? Uh, you're, you're looking for your confirmation bias. You know, you're looking for people that agree with you. And so, you know, if you could just – unplug from mainstream news, mainstream comedians, mainstream entertainment for like a month, you would be pleasantly surprised how civil everyone is out in public, just like in general. If you don't bring up politics, if you don't bring up, you know, uh, current issues that are just so like real sensitive, most people are incredibly civil and understanding and kind to one another. And yeah, it, that's all I really, really have for a suggestion when it comes to maintaining anger or managing anger is just exercise. That's what I did. And, you know, not watch so much mainstream news because that stuff is poison. Like it's informative, but it's bias and it pollutes the soul. It makes people so just hateful towards one another when they should really be holding politicians accountable and not being so mad at, you know, the respective bases. Because the thing about uh, the left and the thing about the right is I believe the politicians are all kind of douchey. It doesn't matter if you're talking left or right. But when you're talking about the voter base, when you're talking about, you know, the, the people that support the left and the people that support the right, it's like those people are the people that care about the country and one another and really legitimately want the best for one another. And so I just don't see the, the point of just, oh, everyone on the right is racist. Oh, everyone on the left is a libtard. It's like that's, that's a broad brush kind of thinking that I don't adhere to. You know, everyone, you know uh, it's about individuals for me. And so, you know, if you unplug and don't watch so much TV, you'll kind of notice that that's kind of how it is in the real world. If you go on TV, it's all about groups and the different uh, – Sex that we all belong to. Sects. S-E-C-T-S. -E not... Anyway. So, um, it's all... Everyone's sort of divided now into the, the subcategories. And we should just be individuals, I think. But not that there's anything wrong with being proud of your culture or nothing like that. But, man. A lot of anger out there. If you don't watch TV, there'll be a lot less anger. I know that.